Hi, and welcome to this introductory video on how to use Nodal, the generative music software. For this introductory demo, I'm just going to be using Nodal as a standalone application, and I'm going to be using its built-in MIDI synthesizer. You can see the synthesizer by going into the View menu and selecting the Show Synthesizer item from the menu. Uh, I'll just close that window now. So the first thing that you probably want to do when you start using Nodal is to look at some of the examples. And you can do that easily by going into the File menu and then to Open Example and selecting the example that you'd like to listen to. I'm going to select Music Box and I'll just drag the window up so that you can see it and make it a little bit bigger. And to hear this composition, all I need to do is press the Play button. Okay, let's try another example, uh, this time perhaps something percussive. I'll select uh, Monkey Drummer, and again I can drag it to make it a little bit bigger. So all of the examples that come with Nodal are editable and you can look at them and change them, use them as starting points for your own compositions, or just uh, have a look at them to see the kinds of things that you can do with Nodal. Okay, perhaps one final example, the classic Beethoven Feralese, and again I'll just make it a little bit bigger, and press play. Okay, so there's some examples, but what if you want to make your own compositions with Nodal. Well that's quite easy. The first thing that you need to be familiar with is the toolbar at the top left here. It contains five different uh, tools that you can use to create compositions. I'm going to select the third one from the left which is the Create Node and Edge tool and I can do that just by clicking on it or by pressing Command 3 on my keyboard. I can even go up into the tool menu to do it too. Okay so a Nodal composition consists of nodes connected together via edges. And a node uh, contains a note or a series of notes that will get played in a composition. So to create a node, I simply just click in the main editing uh, area and you'll see that a circle appears which represents the node. To create another node that's connected to it, I simply click on that existing node and drag. And you can see as I keep the mouse button pressed and drag around, I'm creating a new node connected by an edge. So I'm going to keep doing that a couple of times to create a very simple network that just consists of four nodes. And one of the things that you want to try and do when you start off using Nodal is to create networks that form loops so that the composition will keep playing um, rather than stopping when it gets to a node that has no outgoing edges. All right, one thing I need to do before I can hear this composition is click on the Create Voice Group icon, which is a triangle shown here and select the starting point where I want the voice group to start playing from. You can think of the voice group as a player that's going to travel around the network following the pathway that you've specified via the nodes and the edges that connect them together. So I'm going to click on the top left node here and you'll see that a triangle gets created. This is the starting point for this voice group to start playing the composition. So all I need to do now is press the play button and we'll hear the results of this uh, composition that I've just made. Okay, it's pretty simple, but one thing that we can do um, to explain uh, how Nodal works is to select the uh, selection tool and click and drag on a node. So you can see that uh, the player or the voice group is moving around the network following the pathway that I've specified and the length of a particular edge controls the time it takes for the player to move along that edge to travel from node to node. So by changing the position of the node, I'm changing the length of the edge and hence the timing information. Okay, so this is pretty boring because the uh, composition is just playing the same note over and over again. How do we change the note? Well, that's easy. To do that, I just select a node and if you look over to the right here, 
uh, we can see the node editing window. And the large box under the heading of notes contains the note that this particular node will play. There are three values listed here. The first one in blue is the pitch of the note itself. The second one in pink is the velocity or loudness of the note. And the third one is the duration, which is shown as a percentage. So to change any of these, it's very easy. I can just go and edit them uh, using the keyboard. If I have a MIDI keyboard connected, I can also play a particular note in order to change the values that way. So I'm going to change this to D2 and uh, I'll change the velocity to 110 to make it a little bit louder and the duration to 300%. So uh, this percentage represents the length of the outgoing edge and remember that the length represents duration. So this first note will sound for 300% of the outgoing length of this edge which means it'll keep playing while the second note uh, starts to play. So I'll go ahead and select each node individually and change the note values. I'll change the second one again to a D3, the third one to G, and the last one, let's make that uh, F4. And I'll increase the duration to 200%. Okay, so we've changed the pitches, but it's still just playing around in a loop and that gets pretty monotonous after a very short period of time. So what if I want to introduce some more variety? Well, one way I can do that is to add extra edges between the nodes. So I'm going to select the node and edge tool again and click on some of the existing nodes to create alternate pathways between them. Okay, so now the sequence of notes that's playing is actually a lot more complicated because I've added extra edges between the notes. I'm going back to uh, the selection tool again and I'll click on this node down the bottom here. You'll notice when I click on it that the two outgoing edges are highlighted, one in orange and the other in green. And this corresponds to the two color chips that you see on the right here uh, in the chip editor at the top for signaling. Now this node uh, is currently set to be uh, a sequential type of node, which means that any signal that enters in uh, exits from the orange node first and the green node second. Now if I'm not happy with that ordering, it's very easy to change. I can just click and drag on the chips to swap the ordering around. So now any signal entering this node will exit first through the green node and second through the orange node. I can also double click on an individual color chip and change the number of times the signal travels through that particular edge. So at the moment I've got the number two here for the green edge which means any signal coming in will exit through the green edge twice and the orange edge once. Alright, uh, let's add some more interest to this composition by creating a couple of extra nodes and assign them to a different instrument. To do that I go back to the node and edge tool and I'm going to create just a two node network that loops back on itself and in order to hear that I need to create a voice group and I'll click on the first node to do that. Now uh, at the moment when I press play both voice groups are playing the same instrument the piano sound. If I want to change that that's easy to do. Uh, in order to do that I'm going to select the uh, second voice group and uh, when I do that you'll see that uh, it shows up the instrument that's playing here which is simply called instrument which is the default name. In order to change or add instruments I need to go into the instrument tab in the editor and you can see here his instrument. Now I know this is playing the piano in the internal synthesizer let me just bring that up um, so I can change the label to be piano by typing in piano and this is currently playing through the nodal synthesizer MIDI port 1. I can also select program change here which will uh, allow nodal to send a program change message whenever you press play when playing the composition. It's a good idea to do this particularly when using the built-in synthesizer to make sure that you have the instruments that you want selected. Okay so let's add another instrument and I can do that by clicking on the plus button here and you'll see new instrument appears called instrument. I'll click on that and change the name. I'm going to call it Glock, short for Glockenspiel. 
And uh, this is currently going through the nodal synthesizer port MIDI channel 2. Uh, in order to hear the glockenspiel, I need to select program change and change the program for MIDI channel 2. And I happen to know that that's uh, 10, 1, 2, 1, I think. And bank, left bank is 0. OK, so I've got two instruments, one called piano and one called glock. I now go back to select the individual voice group uh, that I want to change and change the instrument to glockenspiel. So now when I press play, we should hear the two instruments uh, playing at the same time. Cool, OK, so just to finish off this composition, let's add some text. Uh, at the top. To do that I simply select the text tool and click where I'd like the text to be. Let's type in some text. And I can select the text and do things like uh, changing the font or size. Let's just do that. Let's change the size to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And of course, don't forget to save your composition when you're done. Thanks for watching this video and uh, look out for additional videos where we'll show you more about how you can create more complex compositions with Nodal. Thanks for watching.